Welcome back to The Vault, everyone. And this time around, I'm gonna keep it simple. If you wanna look like a true badass with a deck of cards, you go out and you learn Jason Ladan's material. This is an amazing effect. It involves three spectators. It looks impossible. This is Precision Aces. I want you guys to help me out with the trick. Is that okay? Yes. But I have to admit, before I go any farther, it's one that I'm still working on. Uh, so I want you to take any card you want, but don't look at it. Anyone you want, John, do the same thing. Take any card, don't look at it. You know, the more I perform it, the better I get. Go ahead, take one, and hopefully it'll turn out the way I'd expect it. Now, I said don't look at them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can look. <laughs> look at them and remember them. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to lose these cards uh, back in the deck in four different places. It doesn't make any difference. And don't worry about showing them to the camera. I'll do that in a moment. But I just want to stress that the aces are going into four different places in the deck, okay? It also gives me a chance to do this cool thing, which apparently only card guys care about, right? That still looks good, right? <laughs> I'm going to take the aces, cut them into the deck. It doesn't matter where they end up now. But can you help me out? I want you to drop your card back into the deck. Uh, it doesn't make any difference. Near the top is fine. Right about uh, here is fine. And I want to make sure the camera gets a chance to see it. And uh, can you drop your card, John, right about here? A little bit farther down in the deck, that's fine. And remember your card, that's important. Back it goes into the deck. And Andrea, can you do the same thing? Drop your card back in the deck right about here. And just so the camera can see it. All right, now all seven cards are in seven different places in the deck. But I just want to stress before I go any farther, the aces are nowhere near the selections. The aces are all separate from one another, and the selections are all separate from one another. Now, I'm going to square everything up, losing those cards in the deck, give the cards a couple cuts, and I'll even give the cards a couple shuffles. And this is the part that I'm still working on. I'm going to try to give these cards, let's say, three shuffles, one shuffle for each card selected. And what I'm going to try to do is get those aces to gather into the exact center of the deck. Now, think about that for a second. Three thorough shuffles, and those aces getting controlled to the exact center. There's only like five guys in the world that can shuffle the cards with such precision. But unfortunately, I'm not one of them. You see, I can never get those aces exactly together in the center of the... <sighs> you know, I'm getting better. What was the card, Andrea, that you picked? What was it? Four of hearts. Four of hearts, like that four of hearts. John, what was your card? Seven of hearts. The seven of hearts, like that seven of hearts? Hannah, what was your card? I think the five of hearts. Five of hearts? Mm -hmm. Like that five of hearts? <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. But. <laughs> um, oh okay. my God. 